Let's see how. <laughs> it's basically a massive sword. Interesting. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Welcome back, everyone. Simply are you here? And today we are gonna watch Ragna Crimson episode 9, and we're gonna see the chapters as well. I think chapters 18 and 19, probably. Last time we got into this uh, issue with uh, the Silver White Princess, we have to lie to her in order to be safe, I would say. Of course, Ragna is always going to be safe, and Crimson as well. Well, he's immortal, basically, right? Every time his corpse or his body dies, he can resurrect. So there is a weird mechanic with it, I guess. Nothing can really happen to them, so we're going to see what's going to happen in this one. Let's get into it. Seven years ago. Wow, this is very, very weird. Those colors are very weird. And we have... The princess is here. This guy is sus, of course. Why oh, is she gonna kill him? No way, what's gonna happen? Interrogate him, maybe? I'm purging... I'm purging you. Lieutenant General Perero. A coup d'état. Wow. Yeah, it's because you can see the aura, right? Okay. That's a lie, of course, but... You know. Good job, Crimson. That's what you're supposed to do. Face her and manipulate your aura to lie. Krish Weiss. <laughs> He's very good at it, right? Controlling his uh, emotions and aura. Wow. That's a lot, to be honest. Teleportation magic. With Ragnar, of course. Yeah. You can't say that you are behind the bombing, right? <laughs> a Solarian defector. Interesting. <laughs> wow. They all look the same. The Solarian religion. Oh, they can fight against the dragons. Oh! You are an excellent liar. A lie mixed with some truth. Interesting. That's what uh, Crimson said. The color of one's aura. Wait, but... She was blue, right? So she should be okay. Yeah, there you go. It's actually blue, there you go. Something smells fishy about the blue. <laughs> Take the weapon? Nah. There's no way it's that. Wait, can she actually take weapons like this? The silver weapons? Oh! The, the body and the sword are blending together. Wow, she's gonna be happy to see Ragnar because he's basically one giant sword, right? More beautiful than Garn. I mean, you can't kill Crimson anyways. Wow. A pitch black mass of death. I mean... She's not wrong though. I mean... Crimson was definitely... A bad character, right? Oh, you know, she's evil by the way. Basically, sorry. Yeah. You can't kill Crimson anyways. Who cares? At worst, she's just gonna, like, re be reborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, Crimson, I know. Right. I will wait for my chance to snatch up Ragna and escape. She wants to take Ragna, which obviously makes sense, right? We're gonna see Ragna if Crimson dies, right? Oh! Wait. Ragna is here. Hunting him is my duty. True. Okay, let's see if they can actually do something against Ragnar. 
<laughs> Did you do something bad, Crimson? <laughs> he went through guard, the, the old guy. That's crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, again. She sees him as a giant sword, right? Oh, does she? Oh, sword with arms. Okay, there you go. Because she saw the old guy that the two were merged together. But since Aina merged with his sword, let's see how. <laughs> it's basically a massive sword. Interesting. <laughs> ah, that's funny. The perfect fusion of a human and silverine. The pinnacle of power. Yep. I can't wait to see Ragnar at full strength. That's gonna be a sight and a half. Yep. She's so full of herself as well. Yeah. Engagement. Okay. <laughs> I'm begging you, please reconsider, right? A cushy retirement. Yeah. She's just normal, I guess. Yeah, she's so... Yeah. Whoa! Hello? <laughs> His face is so dreamy. Right. Oh my god, this girl is crazy. She's 16, right? I mean, they are both 16, actually. When you think about it. <laughs> what is he doing? He's speaking very slowly. Oh, Crimson. Of course. I like Crimson. <laughs> Again with the feet, huh? Right. Yeah, they both have issues with uh, the how it turns out, right? But you can't kill Ultimatia right now. Yeah, he actually destroyed the, the room as well. The teleportation room. And Golem too. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm adjusting your out of whack aura. <laughs> yeah, Crimson. Oh, you can actually resurrect him? With just uh, a small amount of slime? <laughs> it's like a recipe. He's ready again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's abnormally powerful. <laughs> he's not wrong. I mean, the way I see it, they are all gonna fight against the dragons anyways, right? Popo. He's stronger than you at last. Thank you for everything. <laughs> the, what, the fact that she has no arms is very weird to me. Like how she's holding the flowers and stuff. Uh, oh! We have twins right now. Chief Gunners. We have so many characters here. Pay attention. Right. Whoa! Actually, bitch slapped her. <laughs> you have fallen in love with that man. Right. I mean, she can't hide anyways. Lady Ape. Wow. Oh! Wow. Are we talking about Ragnar right now? That's crazy. I like how she's using the arms, but, you know. Yeah, I can't relate to her. <laughs> Same. None of them can replace you. Exactly. <laughs> it's wonderful and all. But you must not forget who you are. Yes, <laughs> that's insane. I must be such a person. 
Yeah, I've done about that one, huh? Oh, are we gonna see... Oh, Nebulim, okay. Ah, uh, there is Ultimatia. Why didn't you save me, sister? Oh yeah, she has some... Some serious issues, huh? Oh! Wait. Can she... Oh, she can't do it anymore! She has the Ragnar effect. Can't do anything anymore, it's over. Okay, so, since we are done with the episode, we are gonna jump right now into the chapters. If you want to skip to the outro, it's up to you. If you want to ch stay here for the highlights, then yeah, just stay. <laughs> Alright, so we have the same thing. We have the demonstration when uh, she found out about the Lieutenant General Perero, and uh, she purged him, of course, right? Are we actually gonna see the aura? It's pretty tough to see the color of the aura when uh, you are in a black and white manga, right? <laughs> Always the same. Um, but I guess red is like more dark than blue anyways, right? You almost had me for a second there. You have meticulously intervo interwoven both truth and lies into your story. Yeah. Close, but not quite. Yeah, it's about the color, not the, the fluctuations and stuff. It's more than the fluctuations and the, all of this. It's about the color as well and the intuition, right? <laughs> Accept your fate. Look at her. Please stop. No, just kidding. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, feel free to kill me. I'm, gonna die. I'm not going to die anyways. What will this Silver White Princess do to Ragnar? If she uses the same line of reasoning against, against him as she did with me, she won't harm him. Looks like you were about to, be, to get killed. Hey. I'm the victim here. Why do you I always assume it's my fault? So troublesome. You should have kept sleeping. And he just went past uh, the old guy, right? Garm. <laughs> then we have the princess falling over, of course. Falling in love, literally. <laughs> we can actually see him as a sword. Look at this. We can see all the scars as well. That is pretty, pretty interesting. Why are there feet and hands growing from a sword? <laughs> Is it possible that you did that on purpose? You killed ex-Lieutenant General Perero so that the engagement would be annulled. You still think of me as someone who kills for amusement? Regarding Perero's death, he got what he deserved. Wait for just a bloody second. This is way too weird. This is no time to mess around your majesty, can't you see? That is our enemy. Are you under the effect of one of his abilities? Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the arm! Very strong. The countless cards that run down the surface tell a story of immeasurable struggles and hard-earned victories. <laughs> this level of idiocy is more than I ever expected. No. I assumed he was the type to know nothing but obedience, following orders without questions or any hint of independence. I was too naive. His sudden chaotic behavior, no one could have expected that. It always seemed like I had him under control at all times. He is a walking bomb that could explode at any moment during an encounter with dragons. He must be treated with the utmost caution. Therefore, this loss was entirely due to my miscalculations. I can let this pass. This guy is definitely gonna do something with Ragnar at some point, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Look at her face. Watch out! Boom. Completely destroyed. What the hell are you doing? It's because you have fallen for that man. Right. The more responsibility you carry in the world, the brighter you shine. That that person can be no other than Starlia, the Silverware Princess. Okay, so we have all of those people and I guess that is where we stop because we have a lot of different characters here. And this is what's going to happen in the next episode, of course. Okay, well, that's going to be it for Ragnar Crimson, episode 9. And then we have chapter 17, 18 and 19 as well. We had a lot of yapping in this episode for, for sure with the Silverware Princess and uh, what's happening at this current moment. I'm assuming we're going to go against those two super dragons in the next episode. So if you think about it, I think it's the fifth and sixth seat, uh, if I remember correctly, because the first seat is, Ar is Artemisia or Ultimatia. The second seat is Kamui, the lightning guy. The first seat was the, the wind guy. The fourth seat is um, Nebulim. So I believe those are the fifth and sixth seat as well. Because the seventh seat is the, the dragon guy. 
Yeah, I think that's it. So that's going to be the fight in the next incoming episodes. Uh, it's going to be very interesting, of course. I can't wait to see Ragnar fight again. And then he's going to fight with all of those people. Uh, I'm assuming they are pretty strong as well. Like the old guy is probably pretty strong. And I want to see the two girls fight as well because they are, um, they are gunners, right? So that's going to be pretty fun to see as well. So if you're here for the second time, please subscribe. If you like the video, like the video and leave a comment as well. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.